Hello, this is Chris Allen. I'm your vice principal, and we're going to be doing a lockdown drill. But there's different scenarios to a lockdown drill, and I wanted you to know all of them so that we can react to the scenarios if they come our way. Now, the first one is just called a shelter in place. Shelter in place means just that. We want everyone to come in and seek shelter from something. Could be terrible weather and lightning, dust storm, could be poor air quality. Whatever it might be, we want you away from that and be safe and sheltered. The, the next scenario, however, is a lockdown. And in a lockdown, there's something that's already on campus or is coming on campus that we need you to get away from. And so if there's a lockdown, we want you to find the nearest classroom, get inside, get the lights off, and get yourself safe. If class is already going, of course, you're just gonna, your teacher's gonna lock the door and we're gonna go right to lockdown. But what if it was at break or lunch? What if you're down at PE? Now, we don't want you coming to where the danger is, so if we go to a lockdown, you're going to get safe. It might be an open classroom, it might be you're going to hide somewhere off campus. If you're down in PE, you're going to find somewhere to hide and be safe down there. And then, there's another scenario as well. There's an active shooter. I'm going to let Officer Shamber talk about that one. But one more thing, these drills can take a long time. Remember that we have, we have little porta potty systems that each of your teacher has with screens they can create, so you might have to be there a long time. Our drill won't take that long, just wanted you to be prepared for that scenario. Well, let's have Officer Samber talk about the next phase, which is run, fight, hide. First thing we want you to do is move away from the area of danger. If you end up locked down and the threat moves to your area, you're going to have to fight. Your life depends on it. Whether alone or working together, fight, act with aggression, improvise weapons, a chair, fire extinguisher, trash can, something that's in your area. Disarm the suspect and commit to taking down the shooter. First responders will be coming, but in the meantime, the three key things that you need to do for your survival is run, hide, and fight. One. Okay, so let's sum it up. There's three scenarios. The first one, shelter in place. Everybody comes in and seeks shelter. The second one, a lockdown drill. Everyone gets away from danger and gets somewhere inside a classroom or hiding and safe. And an active shooter where you're going to run, hide, and if necessary, you're going to fight to keep yourself safe. Those are the things I wanted you to know and that your teachers are going to review with you today about a lockdown drill.